Welcome to Beyond the Beltway, where we take a behind the scenes look at DIA's outreach throughout the community, country, and the world. Here at DIA, we're charged with providing intelligence on foreign militaries and operating environments to prevent and decisively win wars. The Beyond the Beltway series explores how our presence outside Washington, D.C. enables us to play this crucial role in our nation's security. Today we're here in Stuttgart, Germany, on Kelly Barracks, home to United States Africa Command, more commonly known as AFRICOM. U.S. AFRICOM is one of six geographic combatant commands. It assists African states and regional organizations in building capacity and strengthening defense institutions, as well as responding to crisis and deterring and defeating transnational threats. The AFRICOM area of operations is a really challenging one. We account for about a quarter of all the countries in the world, 53 countries that speak over 2,000 languages. The land space of the U.S., of China, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, all that fits in the continent of Africa. The population expands as 1.2 billion people, which is about 16% of the world's population. And what's really unique is that's going to grow uh, to about 2.5 billion by 2050. Although Africa presents many challenges, AFRICOM is committed to promoting security, stability, and prosperity throughout the continent. We partner closely with both European allies and African partners to develop military capacities of our African partners as well as to conduct our various counterterrorism operations. We really do that through a theater campaign plan, which is designed as a five-year campaign from 2016 to 2020. And it's all about figuring out how we can get after the issues that are important on the continent. And we do it in a measured way so that we're not working crisis to crisis, but we're working issue to issue. It's a pretty large undertaking to develop the capability of a partner. A lot of our partners are still developing their defense structure. You know, there's a lot of potential here, and we have some very willing and capable partners that we're working to enhance. We've become much more efficient and focused on how to build partner capability. We're trying to work with our African partners to make sure that we're going to neutralize or contain the extremist threat that's out there on the continent, or a regional stability crisis like Libya or places like Somalia. Well, the Red Cross says more than Recently, we were looking at Sierra Leone where they had a, a really terrible landslide. We're trying to help in what way we can from the military instrument to be sure that our commander has the information he needs to make the right decisions about how he can help our partners on the continent. You see a partner then take what we've taught them and use that to drive their own operations. That's uh, immediately gratifying. Those kinds of things are what we're doing on the continent on a day in and day out basis. What's really unique about AFRICOM is the partnerships that we have. As you look around the campus here, there's about 1,400 people that work in AFRICOM. We also have liaison officers from our allied countries, about 14 of them that work here on a day-to-day -day basis so that we can stay connected uh, to what's going on and to make sure that we have partnerships that are developed but can continue to strengthen day by day. We work very, very closely with the intelligence community. I mean, we have very good lash-ups with our fellow combatant commands. Not only are we lashed up with our partners in the intelligence community and across the Defense Intel Enterprise, but we have State Department and USAID representation here at the command, along with other federal agencies. And all of us are focused on empowering and enabling our partners on the ground to implement African solutions to African problems. Partnering with the IC and DIA is a huge part of what we do. We will work across the directorates uh, with, with everyone within DIA to ensure that we can accomplish our mission here in Africa. So we have about 60% of the workforce here at Molesworth, which means the bulk of the analytic capacity for the command is located here in Molesworth. That's been really positive for us because those analysts are co-located with their counterparts at U.S. European Command and with a number of their NATO counterparts. So every analyst here has a real opportunity to be the voice for the topic in the portfolio that they cover. The person that's looking at South Africa, for example, for U.S. AFRICOM, might be the person that's looking at it for the entire IC. Things move pretty fast here, and you're supporting direct operations. There's something uniquely satisfying about seeing direct results of your actions. This is my fourth four-star headquarters that I've served at. And I can tell you the analysts doing the daily work here are just absolute quality. 
In Africa, there's multiple issues, multiple challenges that we face each and every day. And from my perspective, the Intel specialists really give us a deeper perspective and help us understand exactly what's going on in the continent. As you can imagine, being up here in Stuttgart, Germany, we're a bit disconnected from the African continent, so it really helps us stay engaged with what's going on and what the real information flow is. Knowing that you have DIA behind you is always something that uh, we're very, very grateful for. Special thank you to the men and women of US AFRICOM for their support. And thank you for watching. Please be sure to join us for the next episode of DIA's Beyond the Beltway.